Historical Italian brand Benelli has mainly been making expensive, exotic sports bikes for the last couple of decades. Most notably the Tornado Triple Superbike with its fabulous dual fart extractors and the criminally insane TNT 1130 naked bike which permanently looks like it wants to stand up and punch you. These days, Benelli is owned by Chinese manufacturer Qianjiang, which makes a monstrous 1.5 million motorbikes a year that you and I have probably never heard of. These guys see Benelli as the jewel in the crown of their motorcycle empire, and they're keen to attract younger riders into the fold. So, they've built a learner bike with Italian looks, an impressive spec sheet, and a Chinese price tag. Here it is, the Benelli BN302. Let's see now. Laid over shock, parallel twin engine, chevron radiator guards, that friendly front mask and that underslung exhaust, it's unmistakable. It's a dead ringer for the ER6N, which was Kawasaki's attempt to pull off sophisticated European styling back in 2006. That's not to say this looks bad. In fact, Benelli takes it up a level with gorgeous details like this monogrammed seat. That is a 300cc engine making 37 horsepower and 27 newton meters of torque, just enough to comfortably edge out Kawasaki's hugely successful Ninja 300. Those are twin disc brakes which you won't find on anything else in the class, and that is a rebound damping adjuster which you also won't find on anything else in the class. These are Pirelli Angel tyres which are really good gear. Normally on a cheap bike, these are the places you'd look to see where the money's been saved. But in this case, you find some of the best gear in the business. And the price tag? 6,300 Aussie dollars on the road, several hundred cheaper than the Ninja 300 or the KTM Juke 390. So, how does she go? Well, to me, a great learner class bike is one that's easy and accessible for new riders to get on and build confidence on. And also one that doesn't punish dumbass mistakes because we all make those when we're getting started. In terms of being easy and accessible to ride, I think this Benelli's a great thing. It's comfortable, ergonomics are good, suspension and handling are great, and the engine's got a really nice kind of friendly character to it down low. It's very unintimidating. But it opens up more performance to you as you, uh, as you push up through the rev. So I, I don't think that's a, uh, a bad way to design a, a learner class engine at all. I, I, uh, I rate this thing. I don't think it's as uh, easy or quite as accessible to ride as the uh, old Honda VTR 250, which for many years was my kind of gold standard learner's bike. But that was 40 kilos lighter and three and a half centimetres lower in the seat. And it was tuned more for low end grunt rather than sort of a performance that, that, that grows with you maybe quite as much as this bike does. And I think this bike's probably going to end up being better for, uh, for bigger riders because it is a physically bigger bike. The engine's kind of placid off the line. It's not too intimidating down low, but get it past sort of 7,000 RPM. Between there and the red line, it's got quite a bit going for it. It gives a, a decent bit of shunt. I actually really like the sound of the standard exhaust too. I don't think I'd really bother changing it to be honest with you. In fact, if there's one mod I was gonna make, if I bought this bike, I'd, uh, I'd fit a quick action throttle because I'm really enjoying full throttle on this thing, but ugh, it's a long way round to get there. <laughs> As a bit of a fat ass, I often find myself sort of overwhelming the suspension on these smaller bikes. What happens is I'll go into a corner and I'll find the suspension a bit under damped. I'll hit some bumps and start getting myself sort of bounced all over the road. Not so much on the Benelli here. And that's thanks to the uh, adjustable rebound, uh, rebound damping at both ends. I gave it a, a couple of clicks up at the front, a couple of turns up at the front and a couple of clicks up at the back and the bike started behaving itself really nicely in the corners. This is a big deal if you're a bigger rider because suspension has a heap to do with your confidence 
in the twisties and also your ability to deal with unexpected situations and get yourself out of trouble. So Benelli's got to get some extra points here. Chen Zhang is manufacturing these Benelli's in China, but they've brought over an Italian team to handle quality control. Imagine if I told you that 20 years ago, an Asian motorcycle company taking quality tips from Italians, you would have laughed me right out of the Spice Girls concert. Things have changed, that's for sure. And this bike looks and feels beautifully put together. Time will tell if this new direction is a winner for Benelli, but the price is right. There's a full two year warranty. And apart from the fact that it's a bit exotic and different, it's also got a few premium features that the competition can't match. Looks like Benelli might be playing to win.